hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we will learn how to create a login page or sign in page using html and css this web page is exactly same as the login page of official twitter website if you want to create this beautiful sign in page or login page using html and css then keep watching this video till the end here in this folder i have one html file one css file and another folder called images and in this one you can see these icons you will find these icons download link in the video description now i will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structure and this one is the css file where i have added the margin padding font family and box sizing and these css properties are applicable for all the html elements in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file let me come back to the css and here we will add the css properties for the body let me add the body tag here and let's add the background and one color code now let me come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see this dark color on the complete web page let me close this browser and i will open this browser with the visual studio code extension called live server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file so you can see the same web page again but the url has been changed now let's come back and in this html file we will create one div with the class name login box now in this login box there will be one image that will be for the logo and then there will be one text in any heading tag so here we will add the img tag to add the image write the file path images slash file name is logo.png and we will add one class name called logo and after that we will add one title so we will add the title in h2 so the title is sign in to twitter after that let's come back to the website and you can see this twitter icon and this text next we have to move all these things in the center and we will add the background so let's come back first we will add the css for this login box so write this class name here with a dot and here we will add the css properties So in this login box i have added the background that will make the background white then we have added padding 30 pixel from top and bottom and left right so it will add a space inside the box then we have added the width for the box then position absolute top 50 percent left 50 percent and this transform these things will move the box in the center of the web page then i have added the text align center so that the image and text will be in the center and we have added the border radius 10 pixels so that the corners will be round after that if i refresh the website you can see the white background here the corners are round and here we have the icon and uh, text in the center now we will add the other things we will add two buttons that will be for the google sign in and apple sign in so let me come back to the html file and here after this text we will add the button in this button we will add one text sign in with google and with this text we will add one icon also so here we will add the img tag and write the file path google.png so this is the first button with one image and text let me duplicate this one and here we will update the image it will be apple.png and we will change the text also sign in with apple now we will come back to the web page you can see google icon and text and another icon and text so you can see these two buttons that we will design using css so just come back and uh, first we will add the css for this logo so just copy this one come to the css file here we will add dot logo and we will add the width 30 pixel and we will add the space at the bottom and after this image we have the text in h2 like this so again we will add the class name login box and h2 so for this text 
we will add the margin at the bottom that will be 20 pixel you can see some space just below this text and below this twitter icon also now let's come back and uh, here we will add this login box and in this login box we have the button tag and in this button just we have added one image so right img tag so for those images we will add the width it will be very small 18 pixel and margin in the right side that will be 10 pixel so we will get space between the image and text you can see this small size for this google and apple logo and we have the space between the logo and text now we will design this button so just come back and let's copy this one add it here and for this button we will add some css properties for this button i have added the width that will be 100 percent so it will be in full width then some padding that will add a space inside the button from the top and bottom that is 10 pixel and display flex align item center and justify content center will make the image and uh, text inside the button horizontally aligned and it will be vertically center then we have added margin that will add a space outside of the button and then we have the border radius that will make the sides round and background is transparent border of one pixel then font weight and cursor pointer now you can see this button looks good after these buttons there will be one horizontal line and one text so let's come back to the html file and uh, after this button we will add hr to add one horizontal line and then we will add text in a span in this span we will add the text or so you can see this horizontal line and this text we have to move this text over this line so let's come back and uh, come to the css file here we will add login box and hr for this hr we will add border border will be zero then height will be one pixel then background in this background let's add this color code then we will add the margin after that we will add the css for the text which is in span tag so in this span we will add display display will be block and uh, width will be 40 pixel then margin auto so it will get equal space from the left and right side then background will be white we will change the font size and we have to move it up so we will add margin top minus 16 pixel so it will move up by minus 16 pixel so you can see this all text over this line after this divider line we have to create one form where we will add one input box and one submit button so let's come back and in this html file after this span we will add one form tag and within this form tag we have to create one input field so write input and input type will be text and here we will add the placeholder and in this placeholder we will add phone email or username after this input field there will be one button and the button text is next after adding this let's come back to the website and you can see this input field and this next button we will design this input field so let's come back and uh, come to the css file here we will add login box and input so for this input field we will add the width so it will be 100 percent width then we will add the background and the background will be transparent then we will add the border border will be one pixel solid and this color then we will add the outline outline will be zero and then we will add the padding that will add the space inside the input field and after that border radius that will be very small four pixel and margin that will add space outside of the input field so this input field is also looking good next we have to make this font fold which is displaying inside the input field which is phone email or username and we have to change the color also so let's come back and uh, 
here we will add double colon placeholder and for this placeholder we will add the font weight so the font weight is 500 and then we will add the color that will be the text color now this input field is looking perfect next we will add the background color in this next button so let's come back and here we will add dot login box then form and button you can see in this html file we have the login box then form and in this form we have the button so here we will add background background will be black then we will add the color that will be the button text color so it is white border will be zero and we will add the margin at the bottom now this next button is looking good after this next button we have to add one more button that will be for forgot password so let's come back and we have to add it outside of the form so here we will add button and button text is forgot password after adding this you can see this forgot password button is also looking good because we have already written css for the button now let's come back and after this button we have to add one text and one link so we will add the text in p tag don't have an account and here we will add one link in a tag and the link text is sign up after adding this you can see this text and this link next we will add some css for this text and link so just come back and uh, in this css file let's add the class name login box and p we will add the text align left it will be in the left side then font size will be small so let's add the 14 pixel and we will change the color and then we will add the margin 40 pixel from top and 50 from bottom and left right 0 then we will add the css for the link that is in the a tag so write login box p and a so for this a tag we will remove the text decoration text decoration none and just change the color that's it after that again come back to the website and you can see this text is also looking good so finally we have designed this login page which is same as the login page of official twitter website so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials thank you so much for watching this video